set our attention, our affection, and our devotion upon you tonight, God, in Jesus' name.
rush first to rock you.
and we receive life tonight. We receive the essence of the presence of God, the very the glory of God. We welcome in our lives, King of kings and Lord of lords, you are welcome. We honor your name above our names, above the name of any ministry, above the name of anything that can't be named. We honor the name of Yeshua over any other name. The name of Yahweh, the name of Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Sidkenu, Jehovah Shalom, but you are God, everything we have need. We we honor your name tonight. Majesty, you are majestic and splendor. You are amazing, God. You are magnificent, and you are our obsession. You are our desire. You're the greatness, and your name is greater than any situation, any problem, any disease, any infirmity, any demon. Your name, Father. And we honor your name. We honor the miracle worker, King of glory, the absolver. Father, you are the one who took and carried. You took it and you carried it. You bore it. Our shame, our affliction. Right now, even what our physical bodies try to try to hang on to in the natural, Father, you bore even for that sickness and disease and infirmity. Even for just the tiredness of physical capacity of life, Father, we, we welcome the greatness of the Holy Ghost. We welcome, Father, the breakthrough that we are looking for in personal lives and then great Father, the greatness of who you are, let it go forth, Father. We stand with the captain of the host of the armies of heaven. We stand with the one who holds the sword, who has his mouth as a sword. We stand with the one whose hair flows and is on fire. We stand with the one whose feet are blowing. God, we stand with the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We stand with the armies of heaven. We stand our ground. We ask our Lord and Master for help. We ask our Lord... For our help, our Lord and Savior, our help is from you. And we look to you tonight for help, both financially, physically, emotionally, spiritually. We look to you for help. We look to you for help, oh God. We look to you for help, oh God. Our help is from the Lord. Jesus, we look to you. Jesus.
it's not a battlefield and it's a battle of war being true. And the word declares that by the stripes that Jesus bore, we are cleansed and made whole. Your word declares that when we gather together in your name, there you are in our midst. Mm -hmm. Your word declares that you are for us. Your word declares that goodness and mercy shall follow me all of the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Your word declares goodness and mercy shall follow me. Your word declares that your love toward us was while we were still yet sinners. Your love declares over us, God. Because your love and your word declare we receive. Not by emotion, not by working something and conjuring some demonic thing, oh God. But we receive right now purely off of your word and our love towards you. Father, we declare our love and our devotion to the Lamb. And we in turn receive from your hand. We receive your goodness and mercy. We receive your faithfulness, God. We receive the steadfast love of the Lord. It never ceases. It never wanes. It never grows weary. Father, we are not after status quo. We are not after a, a religious hype or a pomp or circumstance. We're not after the approval or praises of man. But we are after our Father receiving glory. So we glorify your name mm -hmm. on this earth with the fruit of our lips giving thanks. <laughs> we open our mouths and declare our love and our adoration to you, O oh God. Yes. You are a king and you are worthy. You are the Lord of all lords and the king of all kings. Mm -hmm. You are the majesty of all majesties. Yes, you are. And we declare out of our mouths, with our physical mouths, with the very breath in our lungs that you've given unto us, the vocal cords that you've given unto us as men and women, we then declare our love for the Lamb of God. Our love for the one who took away the sin of the world. Our love for the righteous King of the nations. Father, we declare our love and our adoration for the Lamb that was slain. Father, in the natural men bow towards natural kings, but you are so much more than a natural king. You are the eternal, everlasting one. The non-created one. You exist in and of yourself. And by yourself and through your own power, you need no one to exist. You are self-existing. And we adore the king of glory. The majesty. Of the eternal supreme yes, God. The one that the four and twenty elders, the one that the, yes. the, the living creatures and the angels of heaven declare of your glory. The one that yes. declares of the holiness of God. Amen. Hallelujah. You're holy. Jesus. That that which goes before you declares your holiness. Then we bow to the holiness of God. To your goodness and mercy. To your faithfulness, to your everlasting love, we bow to the kingship of heaven. We bow to the lordship of the Lord of all lords. We bow to the eternal, lasting one. And we pledge our allegiance to the king. We pledge our devotion to the lamb. We pledge our lives to the lamb of glory. We pledge ourselves, we pledge our finding, but we pledge ourselves to you. We are your servants. And you are our king. honor that you've given unto 
declares that he has made us kings and priests before him. Is this true? Mm -hmm. And when a land would be conquered, the king would then do give his devotion to the conquering king. The warriors would dedicate their armies unto the king. According to Ephesians chapter 6, we've been given armor, have we not? The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the shield of faith, the belt of truth, the, sh the feet that are put upon us, our shoes, Preparation of the gospel of peace, the helmet of salvation, and prayer. He has given unto us, and we yield ourselves in the armor that he has given unto us, to our king. Before all of heaven, we give ourselves and that which you've given unto us and to the honor of our king. Well, you have given unto us things to steward over and to lord over. And we are dedicated. That which you have given unto us is dedicated to your kingdom, to the glory of your name. Father, we give our lives to bring the kingdom of God, Father, we give our lives to, to expound and expand and to demonstrate your kingdom upon this earth. Father, the armor that you've given unto us, the very sword of the Spirit that you've given unto us, we don't use just to ward off attacks against us, God, but we dedicate our armor and our sword for the glory of God. We dedicate that which you have given unto us for the glory of your kingdom. Father, we are not seeking to conquer people. We are not seeking to conquer things. Father, we are seeking to conquer for the kingdom of God upon this earth. To see the kingdom of our Father glorified upon this earth. May it sink in our hearts that you've given unto us armor and forgiven us, forgive us for using that armor of our only means and devices. But you've given unto us armor and you've trained us to advance your kingdom against the hordes of darkness, against that which would entangle and, and that which would, would drive Father people into slavery. Father, we use for your glory. Here am I. Send me. I will be your warrior. Father, we say yes to the lootings of God. We will go forth and see the conquest against the hordes of darkness in the mightiness of your name. Father, we advance not into the name of a, a saint, to the name of a priest, the name of a preacher, the name of an evangelist. Father, we advance in the name of the Lord. We take ground in the name of the Lord. We take in the name of the Lord. And we advance in the name of our God. That through our God, we shall do valiantly. That it is through our God. It is through our God. Father, help us. Help us. Help us, God. Verse 22. Jude, verse 20 says, But you, beloved, building yourselves up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. I said, thank God for the Holy Ghost. Verse 21 says, keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And on some have compassion, 
making a distinction, making a difference. King James, I believe, said, verse 23 says, but others saved with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating, hating even the garment defiled by the flesh. That's strong verbiage right there. He hating even the garment defiled by the flesh. That is some strong verbiage. We got to love. We do have to love. And sometimes love's got to be strong. And I'm telling you, he has given us armor. And it's not just to be a defensive, defending kingdom. It's to advance. The purpose of an army is to advance mm. in kingdoms. The purpose is to wreak havoc upon our enemy. He has given us swords. He has given us shields. He has given us the, the shoes to march in. He's given us the ability to stand ye and stand ye therefore. He has given us the ability to not just quiver. And, 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 I, and I'm telling you, Beloved, building yourselves up on your most holy faith. Is our faith most holy? Mm -hmm. By praying in the Holy Spirit. God, I thank you for the gift of your spirit. I thank you for talking. God, I thank you that I am a blood-bought, sanctified, set apart for the kingdom servant of God, that you've given unto us a language of your, of your language, God. Of Praying in the Holy Ghost. Yes. Father, we thank you for the building ourselves up in the most holy faith by the Holy Ghost, by yes. praying in the Spirit of God. And we don't take it lightly, but we appreciate it. We say thank you, God, for giving us a way of encouragement when others are not there to encourage us, when things are going sideways and darkness abounds around us. We are encouraged in the Holy Ghost. We pray in the Spirit of God and we are encouraged. Yeah. And in being encouraged, we keep ourselves in the love of God. And we look for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ that leads unto eternal life. Yeah. Yeah. And on some, we have compassion, making a distinction while others we save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment defiled by the flesh. Now to him, who was able to keep you from stumbling yeah. And to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To our God, our Savior, who alone is wise, be glory and <clears throat> majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. Talk about some powerful words. Yes. To him who is able to keep you and I from stumbling. We don't have to stumble. We don't have to fall. He keep. He is the one who's able. My God is able. My God is able. Whatever's looking you in the face, you look at it and say, my God is able. Amen. He is able to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Amen. My God is able. Amen. To our God, our Savior, who alone is wise, be glory. In majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. To the Lamb of God, who took away the sin of the world, be glory and power, dominion forevermore. Be glory and power, dominion. to be told how glorious he is. Yes. The very scars in his hands and feet and his side, the scars on his back, the scars on his head. He is the king. And there is none like unto him. Every one of those scars is where blood flowed for you and I. The crimson rain of the blood of Jesus. That washes you and I white in the snow. That redeems you and I from the curse of the law. Hallelujah. God, we give you thanks forevermore. We give you praise forevermore. Yes. We give you adoration yes. forevermore. We are your kings and priests on this earth. And we give you glory and praise and honor and adoration. 
We have no ulterior motive. We don't want your glory. But we give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor and adoration. The kingdom of the king is the Lord's. Your scepter and your judgments. You are true, O God. Father, your scrolls declare we took and made it to a Bible. The scrolls that were written by the prophets declare the glory of God. The firmament declares, it shows the handiwork of our King. People of God, we may be few in number, but we need to understand something. He is a King and He's worthy to be praised. He's a king of all kings and the Lord of all lords. And I'm telling you, he's worthy for us to open our mouths and tell him, God, you are worthy. You are magnificent. You are beautiful. And I love you. We declare our devotion to you. kingdoms on this earth. We are not after approval of man on this earth. We are here for your glory and honor of God. He is our father, but he's the king. And we bow to his will, no matter what our desire would have been. that we are here and in the service of our King. Glorify your name to your people. Every warrior of God in this place, use them for your glory. Gift them for your purpose. Empower them for your kingdom. Glory and honor, might and dominion. I think we miss sometimes. Because we read he's the king. We think we miss it sometimes because we don't live in a kingdom with a king. We miss what that really is. We miss some of that stuff because we don't live in that, we don't live in that, that era where king, when a king walked into a room, you didn't stand. You bowed. If you had a sword, it was for the use of his kingdom. Your armor, the lands he gave unto those lords and earls and, and whatever kingdom, you know, even in the, the Roman Empire, what was given unto those men was for the purpose of the greaterness of the kingdom. Yeah, they were blessed and we're blessed, but it's for the furtherance of the kingdom, not for our name. God has blessed so many around us, so many of these facilities, they are blessed, we are blessed, everything, we're blessed, but it's not for our glory. It's for the glory of the king, of the kingdom. Yeah. We are warriors, are we not? Yes. Warriors are there to defend and to conquer. And may you go forth and conquer in the kingdom of, of, of light into the darkness, dispelling the darkness. When they, when they crossed over into the land of promise, Caleb said, give me the mountain. Give me that which is impossible. And we shall conquer by the sword of the Lord. God has empowered us, whether it's by few or by many. It is God who conquers. 
It is God who strengthens us. It is God who encourages us. So no matter what stands against you, what's jeering at you across that field of battle, you look it in the eye and you tell it the glory of God to you. The glory of God to defeat you. You vileness of hell. The glory of God to defeat you, to, to behead the enemy of our Lord. Even as David stared at Goliath and saw the glory of God displayed on that field of battle that day. Father, we desire to glare at our enemy and say if our God is for us. There's a lot we don't understand because of the time period we do live in. God, I ask you to help us, show us that we are your servants. Mm -hmm. And that you can declare that we do. We don't have to understand the whys, but we do. Because you declared it. And it's your purpose. And it's for it. Remembering in history, the kings would, would have scribes write things down. It was so that people would know what to do. And he wrote it down for us so we would know what to do. So I did. It was written. And it is declared for us. And I am telling you, every one of us in here, it's, it's just not about pastors and preachers and evangelists and past teachers. It's as apostles and prophets. It's about the people of God taking their place and stepping back into what is ours. We are kings and priests and we are warriors of God. See, I remember as a child being under that piano bench, I remember prayers like God raise up warriors. You don't hear that praying anymore. God raise up warriors and the you don't hear that kind of prayer anymore. Where are the warriors of God? Where are the, the men and women that would encourage each other like they would on a field of battle? Before a battle, they look at each other and encourage each other. No matter what the enemy is shouting at us, we are encouraged by the word of our king. Be encouraged in the Holy Ghost. Build yourselves up on your most holy faith. I'm telling you, we've got the Holy Ghost. What else do we need? We've got the power of God. Yes. What we need to grow is, no, we don't need to grow anything. We need to grow the kingdom of God. That's what we need to grow. We, need more, you know, we don't need more people. What we need is to go forth and to be the kingdom, to dispel darkness. That's what we need to do. What well, if we had more people? What well, if we had God on our side? And what else do we need? Mm -hmm. In fact, Gideon's army was too many of them. What would happen on a Sunday morning at a church of umpteen people if Pastor told everybody but three hundred leave? There's too many of you here. We need to worship God. We need to do. There's too many of you. Won't you go on home? just saying what would happen if you showed up in the first three stayed and everybody else had to go home it was too many if we're three guys together in his name there he is we talk about anti mindset but that is the word of God is it not if a thousand shall put a one shall put a thousand of flight to ten thousand then what can we do I'm telling you we got to know who we are. We are the warriors of heaven. And that's the angel. No, no, no. They're messengers of God. They're flaming servants of God. We are the army of the king. And we go forth and we conquer in the name of our God. We are representatives of the king, right? Then let's represent and let's go forth. Let's take the shield of faith. Let's take the sword of the spirit. Let's take all the armor and let's go and be mighty in God. Go see people healed, saved, and delivered because that's what we're called to go do. That's what an army does. 
Brother Gary and I, we was walking through Walmart today. What were we looking for, Brother Gary? Somebody that needed something. Yep. We purposely walked that whole store just looking, praying. God, is anybody in here? Everywhere we went, we were looking. And where we'd go, we'd see God do. We saw God do. We saw God do. And to him we give glory. And tomorrow I look for opportunity for God to do. Because God can break through what we can. But I will be available for my God. May the purposes of heaven be your purposes. And may the kingdom of our God and the glory of our Father be exalted on this earth. Father, we give you glory. We give you praise. We give you adoration. Bless your people with the fruit of our lips be thanksgiving unto our God. To you belongs all praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name. May the Lord himself bless you and keep you. Lord, the Lord cause his countenance to shine upon you and bring you peace. Dispel the darkness of God. And let the light of heaven shine. Jesus is king. The devil is still alive. Be blessed by the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name.